Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can create this simple task tracker, to call it that, using conditional formatting that allows us to apply logic when we compare today's date to the date for a given deadline. And you can see we've got one of four scenarios here based on our color formatting. We've got deadline being today or missed, it's obviously going to be red. If our deadline date is within five days of today's date, then it's going to go to amber or orange. If, however, we've got longer than that, so we've got six plus days until our deadline, then it's green because it's all okay. Or if our uh, task has been flagged complete, indicated by a date in our completed column, then we're going to highlight it in blue. So what we'll do is we'll go back to a blank document and we'll go through the stages of how we put this together. Okay, so jumping straight in, you can see I've now removed the conditional formatting from our deadline column. So we'll leave all the dates exactly the same because it just helps as we go back through this. Uh, but what we'll now do is one by one apply the conditional formatting to allow us to achieve our desired result. So the first thing I'm going to do is highlight all of the cells in which we want to apply conditional formatting to. Uh, it's just easy for the scenario, but obviously uh, there are different ways of doing this. But I'm just going to highlight all the ones that we have in question here. And the first thing I want to do is go into conditional formatting and I'm going to go into manage rules. I always just go in this way. You can obviously go into other various methods uh, that you choose or desire, uh, but I'm going to go in this way uh, just to show you this uh, solution. So first thing I want to do, we can see we've got no rules at all applied to our range. So we just need to go into new rule and we're going to use our user formula to determine which cells to format. So we're always going to be using this bottom option here. And simply all we need to do here is put a very basic formula to help indicate to us or to help uh, apply the logic. So the first one we're going to do is that blue color. So how do we know when a, a task is complete? And when it is complete, we want to highlight the cell, uh, or I say the cell of the deadline date, we want it to be blue. All we simply need to do here is go equals and for us, we want to indicate when there is a completed date. And you'll see what I'm going to do is now enter dates all applying to row two, but because our range is selected, um, we've set that whole range, it's going to apply to all our cells. So that'll probably become more, make more sense as we progress through this. So the first thing we'll do is go D2 greater than zero, what basically means this is not blank, so it's going to be greater than zero. And then once I've done that, go format, and select our blue color, what happens to already be in our palette here. Click OK, and you can see it's now asked us to confirm. OK once again, and now we've got our first rule. So we can see the formula is if D2 is greater than zero, so D2 here, the 10th of January, is greater than zero, then we want the color blue to be applied to the corresponding cell in column C. So if we click OK, you can see that that now has applied that logic to all of our cells. And if we were to go into maybe row five and delete that date, you can see that obviously by there being no date there, it's automatically removed our formatting for us. And likewise, if you go into one of these other ones, maybe here, one in the future, if we now put a, a date of the 3rd of Jan, um, 3rd of uh, April, sorry, you can see it's now gonna apply that logic to that cell there. So we can say that first, our completed option here has now been ticked off. So let's progress through and look at some of the other ones. So I'm just going to select the same range again, conditional formatting, manage rules. We can see our existing rule that sits there, but we're just now going to now go and do another rule. So the next one is by no means, again, the hardest thing to look at or the hardest formula to do, but it's going to be the most tricky one out of our uh, solution here today. So for this one, we want it to be uh, two scenarios to apply. So we're going to be using an AND function. So for that, we're going to type equals a and D and open our brackets. And the first part of this is we want to ensure that uh, today is greater than or equal to the deadline date. And the reason for doing that is obviously, say we've got a deadline here, uh, today's date is the 3rd of April, so we're going for row six here for this example. If today's date is the same as the deadline date, so the 3rd of April, or today's date has passed that date, so it's now maybe the, the 4th of April, we want this to be um, red, um, because obviously we, it means that we've obviously gone past um, our deadline. Uh, but however, we've already put a rule here that says, if this uh, completed date has been populated, then we want it to be blue. So the reason for doing our double logic is because the first part we want to say is, if you know, today's date is either the deadline date or after the deadline date, 
but the completed day is blank, then we want it to be read. Because obviously if this completed column is not blank, it's got a date, then we know the task is completed and therefore we, we, don't, we only want to do, we wouldn't want to then make it read. So for us, all we're gonna simply do here is type equals today is uh, greater than or equal to C2, so the deadline date. And also, and I'm now separating this logic out by a comma, so the first part is, this is the first scenario, today is greater than or equal to C2, or deadline date. And then by going into after our comma, we're now applying a second uh, scenario or piece of criteria that also must be true. And for that, it's gonna be, and D2 is uh, equal to blank. And again, there's probably different ways that you can do that, or there are different ways that you can do this. This is just the way I've gone for this scenario here. So by all means, feel free to be flexed, play around with different ways of doing this. Uh, so in this scenario, if obviously the deadline date is today or today has passed the deadline date and the completed column is still blank, then obviously we want to make this red. So I'm just gonna go select this red, click OK and do OK once again. And you can now see we've got this red scenario here. Let's click OK. And we can now see that that has done just that. Any date was obviously less than today's date, but hasn't got a completed date, has now been highlighted red. If I was to move this now to say the 4th of April, so tomorrow at the point of recording this video, then you can see obviously that scenario is no longer applicable and it's now got no fill. If I just do control C, go back to that date, you can see it's now gone back to that. Alternatively, if I go in here and put a completed date, so let's say the 3rd of April, 2021, you can see that it's now fallen into that first scenario where we know the task is completed and therefore we want this deadline date to show as blue. So we know so far both of those are working as intended. So we'll now quickly do the next and last two. So go manage rules and create another rule. Use a formula to de determine which cells to format. So for this one, we're gonna do equals, I'm gonna open brackets here. So C2, so deadline day minus today. And we've got to do, remember to do our uh, brackets when we're using the today function, close brackets. So C2 minus today, we obviously it will do the result to find out what the difference is. So if that is less than the number six, we want this to be orange. So we're gonna go into orange. And what that indicates to us is obviously the deadline day minus today's date. So if the deadline date was in the future, say, and we know that there's a number of days, so it could be one, two, three, or five in this scenario, then we want to show this amber color because it's just indicating to us that, yes, we haven't reached our deadline, but you know we're getting close. So therefore, the amber color is telling us, look, you're getting close to this deadline, therefore, you need to start doing something about it. And then we can click OK for that one. And then the last one we want here is, you know, when everything's all well and good, we want it to be green. So we're looking at deadlines that might be way into the future. So it's exactly the same as that last function or that last formula in many ways. So we're gonna go equals open bracket C2 minus today. So obviously this part is exactly the same again. But if the result of C2 minus today is greater than five, so six plus days, then we want this to be green because we know our deadline is way off into the future, so we don't need to be worrying about that. Let's just click OK, and we can now see our entire four, uh, four rules, to use the right terminology here. Click OK, and you can see that those rules have now been applied to our data set. And as you can see at first glance, it's not really following the scenarios that we want it to look at because obviously some criteria might overlap in this scenario. So what we're gonna do is highlight all our cells once again, go back into our conditional format into manage rules, and we're now gonna just put this into a more logical order. Uh, so what we'll say is move this one up to the top, because obviously if this one is true, so D2 has got a completed date, we just want that to be top of the priority. So that's the first thing we want to check for. And what we're now gonna do is put these rules into that same order of priority so that they get checked in the correct order. So the first thing we want to do is to make sure, obviously, if they if they are complete, we highlight them complete. The next one I'm gonna do is just move our red one up next. So if it's not complete, we want to then test for this. So well, is today you know greater than or equal to the deadline date? And that is blank. So we can test if it's red. If that's not correct, then the next thing we want to do is to go into this next solution or next rule to say, okay, well, I want you to now test for this. Are we within you know five days of the deadline? And lastly, if we're not in any of these scenarios, then chances are we're gonna have this scenario at the bottom. So if we now click okay on this, 
you can now see that it's put our logic into the correct order. So anything with a completed date is now marked blue, and then anything else thereafter has had the correct logic applied to it. So for the deadline, we can see the 1st of April or even the 3rd of April. Because obviously the date has been passed or is the same as today's date, we're getting that red. But as soon as we put a completed date in here, we can see that obviously it corrects it for us. So our conditional formatting is now working as intended. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I sort of cut it off at the end there, but I didn't want this to run on too long. And I hope you have enjoyed that video and it's allowed you to understand how you can use conditional formatting to create uh, these rules and this tracker in Excel. Uh, you might want to just go back through the video and pause at that part where we looked at all the rules if you just want to copy them down. So I think that covers off everything I wanted to look at in today's video and I hope that's given you an introduction on how you can use conditional formatting to create this task tracker for you in Excel and obviously most importantly it just allows you to identify those most important tasks and the ones that you want to look at in priority order. You may wish to go back through this video, pause at the section where we had all our completed rules in front of us so you can just copy them down and apply them to your logic as well. If you did enjoy today's video please make sure you do hit that like button. It's not only greatly appreciated by me and obviously shows me uh, the videos that you'd like to see more of but it does also help that all important YouTube algorithm to make sure that more people are able to find this video and if this is your first time uh, finding one of our videos or you've watched them in the past please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notification button that way you'll be notified of all of our future videos uh, as and when they come out so lastly thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next video